morning everybody Saturday 4th of March and I've come on to a field that I haven't visited yet just there and I had, I had a button so not very deep but yeah every field's had activity in it at some point so <coughs> let's crack on with the day well again I've hardly moved and the signals left right and centre um, dug a signal here 47 50 turned the clod over and that was looking at us mm -hmm. it's probably just a dandy button but uh, we shall have a look <clears throat> yeah gold gildan there nice pattern shanks uh, long gone okay I'll give that a clean off and uh, see if we can get any better detail of it encouraging signs well will you look at that that's uh it's quite a bit of work gone into that gold gilded and uh is it called filigree work around the outside where it's pierced yeah okay it's only a button but that's quite a solid item actually and it's uh yeah that's not bending very nice as far as buttons go moving on okay I'm about 40 yards into the field and uh, following a drainage feature and we have a buckle here quite deep and I like finding buckles Okay, I'll give that a light brush and uh, get back to you. Woohoo! Okay, from that all there uh, again fairly deep we have this piece of bronze uh, it's pretty plain not much uh, nothing on it I don't think but I mean that's the same stuff that uh, those sword pieces were made out of yeah okay really good indications move on okay try that again um look at the depth of that hole man can it's got to be over a foot and a half 
and right at the bottom of there was this George the third half penny or penny that's the uh, Britannia side so if we flip it over like that Yeah, not much left on there. That's been there a long time. All that way down. So, there's going to be stuff at least that deep. I might have to set the machine to go a little bit deeper. But, it seems to be managing alright at the moment. Fantastic. Okay, let's see where else there is. Okay, nice 39 signal here from that hole there and we have and uh, looks like another coin, could be a button yet I'll just release it from its, yeah it's a button Very nice Yeah, they seem to be hiding up here uh, at a bit of depth. So, let's move on. Okay. It's the second attempt. Sometimes it just starts off in the wrong mode. <coughs> and uh, yeah, you don't need to know that. From there we have this massive buckle. Really deep. Great signal though. A bit choppy, probably because of the depth. But uh, the the soil is how can I put it very compact okay moving on Okay, just had this item from that hole. It's very, uh, very ornamental. <clears throat> Can't see anything on it, just the fact that it looks like a, a plume of feathers. Uh, lovely find, I shall stick in this area a bit and carry on I'll give it another hour or so, hour and a half, two hours and then head back just taking it easy today
Okey doke from that all there we have I think it's lead but it's so heavy it could be bronze I'm just not sure don't know where it is there's a bit of mud left in there Yeah, strange item. Looks like a camel in that from that angle. But no, don't know. <laughs> yeah, very strange. Okay, let's move on. Right, from that little hole there, we have this old door handle. quite heavy so it could be brass or it's got a green colour to it so it could be copper alloy yeah very clear signal so mind this area is interesting I will be coming back to this place but for now I'm just uh, sussing out what's what so, with that in mind, we'll move on. Well, 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 we have silver. Um, from that little scrape there, not very deep. It's, uh, I'll have to clean it off yet. But, um, yeah, it's looking... Uh, George III, by the look of it, I'll not rub it too much. Yeah, very nice. You don't get many of these to the pound. Right, I'll give it a wash off and uh, show you it. Get in! This is a very interesting feature where I am. Can't show you much more than that. Okay, have to invest in a, um, a new spray bottle because this one's seen too much action. But there we go, one gorgeous little 1816 sixpence of Georgia Third. So I'm going to have a carry on having a look round here I didn't want to stay out too long but when you find stuff like this you've got no choice have you ah, let's move on ok making my way back now I've uh, <coughs> discriminated out all the lower numbers up to 40 I think or 50 Let's just have a quick look. Uh, 50. And uh, we have this item. It looks like a candle snuffer. Hmm. Very nice. The uh, things on this land is just... It can't have been detected properly. I'm not complaining, I'll do it properly. <laughs> okay, heading back. Okay, from there we have this button and it's got uh, it's got a fair few things on it, I'm not quite sure. 
I don't mind buttons when they're interesting. Uh, this looks uh, looks to have some age. I can see a fish at the top there. Uh, as for the rest, I can't make it out. Yeah, nice little find. Okay, moving on. Okay, so I'm back where I started earlier on today. Um, just had a 70, high 70s number, I think it was. So we have this big piece of lead. You can see the imprint there where it was. And we also have a bit of put in the air. Uh, in the ground with a bit of, bit of a rim on it it's quite bright that uh, I'm no pottery expert bit of glaze going on there looks to be a rim to a pot Yeah. Okey doke. We shall move on, and uh, I think that's going to be it. Last signal. Once I go across this drainage channel again, I doubt if there'll be anything there because I started from there earlier. So we'll see you on the next video. All the best, take care, good luck and uh, happy hunting.